After a number of problems with the first in its class USS Gerald R. Ford aircraft carrier, Newport News Shipbuilding has a second crack at it. Today they took a big step forward with the JFK. Thanks for watching. I'm David Allen. And I'm Nicole Livis. The multi billion dollar ship is ready to leave its dry dock. 13 News Now with military reporter Mike Gooding has more from the newsroom. Mike? Well, Nicole and David, this is a monumental day for Newport News Shipbuilding. After many months of difficulties and challenges related to the USS Gerald R. Ford, now arrives the second. Uh, aircraft carrier in that class of ship, the USS John F. Kennedy. And the good news is it's one step closer to reality tonight, and that was cause for big celebration. It's a great, great day for us, for the shipbuilders. About 3,300 shipbuilders on this ship, about 4,000 people total, including all the engineers and planners and others that support us every day. It's just a great day for us. It's been a long time coming to reach this point for the future USS John F. Kennedy. This is the culmination of four years of work. We laid the keel in August 2015, and to get to this point where we bring the ship and put it in the water for the first time, this is an amazing day for us. It's a, it's a huge milestone. 160 million gallons of water from the James River would flood Dry Dock 12, where the JFK has been under construction. Structural integrity tests were to be performed along the way. The goal here to fill the dry dock enough to allow the 96,000 ton ship to float out for the very first time. The Kennedy is the second aircraft carrier built by Newport News Shipbuilding to carry the name of the nation's 35th president. The first one was commissioned in 1968 and decommissioned in 2007. The new Kennedy is taking lessons learned from the construction of the USS Gerald R. Ford and is said to be on track to be built with fewer man hours. The Ford, of course, has had a boatload of problems, most recently with non-functioning weapons elevators. As for the new Kennedy, her captain and initial crew are excited to be at this point. Uh, significant construction milestone and gets us uh, a big step uh, closer to being prepared for the upcoming christening event on December 7th, and we're definitely looking forward to that. And it takes, get this, 50 million man hours over eight years to build an aircraft carrier from start to finish and it appears there's going to be no rest for the weary. That's because sometime next year they're going to lay the keel for the next aircraft carrier, the future USS Enterprise CVN-80. Reporting live in the newsroom, Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.